pas y avoir suis-je connecté suis-je live yep je suis live alors salut tout le monde ici Mathieu Beau aujourd'hui je vais vous présenter le jeu The Walking Dead c'est un jeu de monde histoire que j'espère que vous allez apprécier sans plus attendre, commençons. Je vais éteindre mon micro à partir de ce moment. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough? Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you killed. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's gotta stop. But that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. 
Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Fucking other time! <laughs> Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. I need to drag myself out that window. Officer. Ah! 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 Ah!
Hello? Anybody? No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Anybody up there? Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Hello? 
You need to be quiet. I'm not a monster. Good. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Did you kill it? I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night.
What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... The neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Of those guys, neighbors, too. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We, uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Uh, How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed? before the car accident. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. 
One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Thanks, but no thanks. Damn, friend. You must be some kind of something if you think you two can survive out there on your own. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit.
You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. He seems like an all right dude. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. The government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. Well, on the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bureau. I'm good. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. You gotta do what you can to survive. I put a gun to that kid's head and pulled the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? 
Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... God, bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Hey, Lee. Still need a hand? I'm good. Maybe go check on my dad in the barn? How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Sorry. And you 
You didn't even try to help. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this! It's upsetting him! Ooh! I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. I it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way! Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat! Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. 
She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! I'm sorry, Kenny. He's right. This is about survival. Lee? This is my boy, Lee. My boy! We can't! No, he's not bitten. Look! Look, he's clean. Not a scratch. Not a goddamn scratch. What do you think about that? It's Larry. And I'm fucking sorry. Good. Look, we're fish in a barrel here. With all the commotion, we could be under siege any minute. And we better start fortifying this place. I'll work on getting that window barricaded. Good. Dad, sit down. I'm fine, Lily. Dad, please. All right. <coughs> 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 You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Nothing.
There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. I better get back to it. Yep. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Don't even come over here. Kenny? No, Cat. This son of a bitch would have let that man feed our son to the wolves. Stop that, Kenny. We were all frightened. Even I thought that maybe... Maybe we were going to lose our boy. I'm sorry, Katja. What if he... It's okay, Lee. From here on out, Lee, I need to know that you're on my side. Yeah, I am, of course. Good. Thank you. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're uh, gone. Oh my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, all right? Cat, it's not our business. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah? We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice and kill John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And you should know, I didn't think he was in the right. You didn't say anything, and Duck could have been bitten. Sure, I guess. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. 
Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. 
I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store, but let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. That's what I figured. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good.
I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies, and you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Outside, have a look around. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress.
close. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Old problem. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. I'm not sure I can take them both on myself, even if I had a weapon. gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows. Find a weapon. Let's keep looking around. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Spark thing. 
should hold on to that. It's coming handy. Sure, I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. See the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? We'll be right behind you. there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no 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 
She's in trouble. Miss, we're coming in. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know. That was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're... they're... satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet. And I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Whoa! Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No! 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 Let's get out of here. Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. it is, I guess. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. 
Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. There's nothing I need in here. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Oh. Was he bad? He was. Trying to get some rest, huh? How can I with those things out there? Pills are in there. outside let's have a look around okay back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. That guy over there has the keys. 
How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. those TVs across the street. I just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. A few seconds of searching him, we'll know if he has the keys. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I got to do this now, man. I got to do this.
Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry. To go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast! I gotta get my dad out of here! I don't plan on dilly-dallying! 
Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage... I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your friends. 
be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup, and I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose... We both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Super Dinosaur was toast! But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's, uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. It's just a walkie-talkie. It probably wasn't much use to begin with. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. 
Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Don't fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You all thought Duck was bitten? Well, I'm just doing the same thing. We know this guy's not gonna make it. This isn't happening! No more, please! 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 <laughs> Alright guys, merci d'avoir regardé. Euh, C'était un très bel épisode, ça te va se voir.